What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now we are in the beautiful Bahamas. I'm with Blue Gabe and Team 316 Speed. He has a beautiful HCB center console bow called the Mad Max. And I believe it's made an appearance on YouTube before. But today we are gonna go search for conch shell. Now back in Florida where I live, you are not allowed to harvest or really touch conch at all whatsoever. But here in the Bahamas, they are everywhere. So we're gonna go diving for some conch, we're gonna clean it, and I might make a little bit of a ceviche out of it when we head back to Florida. So right now, we're headed offshore, we're gonna find some conch.
This one almost got away from me. Really? No. <laughs> really? He was speedy Gonzalez. All right, so we are all done diving for the day and we are cleaning all of our conch. We got conch, we got hogfish, we got lobster, we got triggerfish, we got strawberry grouper. Whole lot of fish. Whole lot of fish. Whole lot of fish. So, what in hey, the world? Locking the horn back there. Now we know why you call Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max. So Floyd showed me how to clean a conch. I just did one before this one, so I'm not a perfectionist yet with it, but we're gonna take the end of a hammer and break from here to here, about an inch and a half. Oh man, this one is messy. Let me rinse it off. This is very messy. And I'm like gripping onto the conch so hard so I don't drop it in the water. Okay, so we have our hole here. Set the hammer down. I'm just getting him in there. Where'd the knife go? Oh, no, thank you. And there's this. Let's see if I can. It's so hard to see. Okay. So it's gonna be kind of hard to see if you want to get close. There's this little white piece of the conch that's stuck to the shell. So you want to wedge your knife under that white piece and pop it loose from the shell. Just like so. That's what I'm saying. I think I just got it. Uh, okay. Oh, there goes the knife. I owe you a knife. That's the end of that one. No, it ain't. I'll go get it. Okay, it's straight down there. It's straight down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, if I could tell you the amount of bloopers that we've done today, it's insane. Just dropped the knife. Gabe passed it into the outrigger. Okay, you can grab uh, this one. I think I got it at least. I tried to put it right here. How deep is it? What else did we do? Oh, Gabe went to throw the bait out in the water and he threw it on top of the tea top. Hey, how deep is it here? No, seriously. Hey, hey, hey. You can do it. With no fins? It's right there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of <gasps> No fin. No fin. Oh my! Hey, he gotta open his eyes. Does he have a mask on? Mm -mm. Did he get it? Did he see it? He got it! Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness! Saves the day. He got it. I'm cut him loose. Cut it loose. I'm impressed. Oh, I, could, I grabbed the car first. The hook back. Do it, oh, I grabbed the car. Luck. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm impressed. No goggles. No mask. No mask, no fins, no snorkel. You might as well just cut it. So we have two. Okay, so now that you put your knife in there and you popped him away from the shell, you're gonna flip him over, grab his little hook, and pull him right out. Dang, this is a big one. Look at that. Now Floyd's gonna show us how to take the, what is that, his organs or his skirt, whatever that is, off and just get the meat. Okay. So did you just like stun him a little bit doing that? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let me 
take all the entrails oh. like that. So that's just the skin and yeah. the guts. And okay, whatnot. this one is um, pretty stiff. Mm -hmm. Okay, we come here. So the meat's pretty stiff because we did have them on ice. Normally they wouldn't be on ice. Yeah, the, it, it's a little accident. But it makes it kills the conch instantly. But mm -hmm. this one got a little bit of life in them. Just make it a little difficult to skin. Well, it's kind of like stone crab. You're not supposed to put them on ice, right? When you catch them. No. You gotta cook them first. Yeah. Okay. This, this one is pretty messed up. So I like to do it with a live conch, which in we wouldn't have to go through all of this. Gotcha. Okay. So, if you clean a live conch that's super fresh, it's a lot easier to skin. These yeah. conchs have been sitting on ice, therefore the skin is nah, almost it, stuck to the it's meat. It's gonna be looking like this one here. Okay, so this one's really clean. Yeah, yeah. this is that clean. Nice. We, we usually wash it, make sure we don't have no more entrails in there. Clean it up. And we wash it. We'll get some clear water and mm -hmm. you'll have the clear white meat like that. Beautiful. Okay. So after we're done cleaning all the conch meat, we'll put them in the salt water and just rinse them with the salt water that they came out of. And we are finally back from a full day of spear fishing with a little bit of rotten reel. We slayed it today. It was an amazing day offshore. Oh, we're all exhausted. Look at this moon though. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. This is a conch out of the shell. Now what I did is I chopped up the conch super, super fine in tiny little chunks. I went ahead and beat it with a hammer just a little bit to soften it up because sometimes conch tends to be a little bit more firm. And I mixed in, we have red onion, we have yellow onion, we have sweet peppers, we have thyme, we have, let's see, paprika, and I believe that's it in our Hush Puppy Kong Fritter mix. Now, the base of this mix, I just use this Hush Puppy with onion mix. Publix, Walmart, pretty simple. That stuff's the bomb diggity. I grew up eating that. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> Fun fact is this is my first time ever using oil to cook anything. So hopefully I don't do too bad of a job, but we're gonna wing it, let's go. Okay, the oil is at 350 right now, probably about 360. Drop it in. Bring it off the bottom. <gasps> no, I messed up. Greg, nobody told you to scoop it like bait out of the bait well. You I just was... lightly tap it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the first one. I'm going to do another one. I got scared. I didn't want to stick to the bottom. All right, let's try another one. All right, ready? Lightly, lightly. That was spoon pot. And then lightly. Oh, I did it! Woo! Alright, that one's looking. That one will be game. The first one's games. I've already ate the first two. You did. The practice run. We did do a practice run here. Alright, so then as they're floating around in our oil, we just want to kind of turn them over. It looks like just like floaties in a pool. Should we give them a 
<laughs> little sneak peek of. <laughs> so we go to the Bahamas. Hold on. Let me get it back in. Oh gosh. Oh, what? Oh gosh. So we're in the Bahamas for two days. We got two days to make the best of it. Two days to go full throttle, spear fishing, diving, fishing, whatever. Second morning, Blue Gabe decides to fillet his hand and not the fish. So we spent a big chunk of that day in the hospital in the Bahamas. And it actually went very well, not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, like just trying to find a doctor, like dealing with it. You know, we're in a different country in a hospital, but. You left me at the hospital all by myself. I wanted to go in and take pictures of your stitches, but they weren't allowing people to go in because of COVID restrictions. So I wasn't able to. So Gabe had to close his eyes and try to film it on his own. Self filmed it. I think they're ready. Yeah. Okay. So I just take it out like this. Oh, this one kind of like chopped in half. Oh, I guess deep frying rules 101. You take the first one out first and the second one out second, but. These ones are a lot darker than our first batch. Do you hear that noise? Can we discuss a hedgehog catch, clean, and cook in this house? No! A hedgehog is the world's worst pet. No, All it not. does is make noise. You never see it. You don't take it for a walk. You don't take it to the park. It, lit, it hibernates during the day, but it will make noise in its little cave. And then at night, it gets on a wheel, and I think somebody's breaking in almost every <laughs> single night. So never get a hedgehog. Hey. All right, so hedgehog makes the best pets because one, they're nocturnal. They just run on their wheel at night. Who wants a pet that you never see? But you see it because you get to take it out and play with it. And they're super easy. I mean, I could fill the water bowl, fill the food bowl, clean the cage, and leave for a week, and that pet will be self-sufficient. You guys, we're coming up on our one-year anniversary, <laughs> and I've seen the hedgehog four times. No. One year, four I, times. No, when you're editing, I go in the game room with Luke with it. You just don't see it. Did you know our anniversary is coming up? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get me? <laughs> I don't know. What'd you get me? Um, a big old dolphin oh. mount right over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a brand new expensive fishing reel and rod. Actually, all right, all right, my birthday two, is next weekend. Two. So what's for our birthday? The mahi. Uh, uh, fortunately, your birthday and our anniversary are really close, <laughs> so I get to combine them. No, we started dating like. We started officially dating like two weeks after my birthday. I'd say about three days. <laughs> no. Yes, because you came straight home from the Keys. Yeah, but then... Hey, don't I make me just... call you out in front of all your fans. Listen, I'm just going to say beginning of September, but... That is way too... That's just you want to put a gap between presents. <laughs> no. All right, take that thing out. You're going right, to right, burn it. All right, all ah. right. Ah. I need tongs. There we go. I think the oil's too hot now. Y'all leave a comment below and give her some ideas, gifts for yours truly. Because apparently she's been out of ideas for a while. Actually, that's a good idea. Please, in the comments <laughs> below, let me know. Because I don't know. I I'm got Blue Gabe a fillet table for his birthday because he was all, we were always filleting fish on like coolers and backs of trucks. So I was like, all right, fillet table. So one thing he doesn't have. And now I gotta come up with something else. Don't worry, I'll be all up in the comments, leaving comments below. <laughs> I'll pin them to the top. But babe, why are you in all this camo? Boots and all. <laughs> we had a little outfit change while the conch fritters were cooling. First time ever cooking conch fritters, and not gonna lie, I've eaten like five. <laughs> They're pretty good. I'm gonna cut one open for you guys. Let's see. This one looks good. Get in close. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, we got onions, we got conch, we got peppers. It's loaded with good stuff. Now this sauce I made, it's very simple. Mayonnaise, a little bit of cayenne pepper, paprika, and some lime. Go ahead and give that a little, little dab. I don't really like a lot of dressing or mayonnaise or anything like that, but hey, I'm doing something new. I'm frying and using mayonnaise, which is pretty rare for me, so cheers. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Redneck. Redneck's like, but, but wait. I don't know if you'll eat this. He is picky. What dog do you know spits out Fish. the, Fish. no, bacon, the chewy part of bacon? Oh, he, I hear the crunch. He's eating it. 
Alright, babe. We gotta get to hog hunting. We do. Time's running out. That's good. The Creedmoor is ready to bark. Let's go. We gotta run out the door right now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We went from the Bahamas back to Stewart and now to the ranch and the camo. Bikini to camo. This video is ending. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.